Designing your signup form. When creating an email signup form, it's important to consider the reasons why people sign up for your newsletter. Here are a few examples of something that might guide you in the right direction. In general, most people like to be updated on new products, discounts and deals, or general company news. There are several things that you should avoid when building your email newsletter. First of all, focusing exclusively on your welcome offer can be a good idea if you want to increase the number of subscribers and encourage everyone who comes to your site to sign up, but you might have dissatisfied users later on who are only interested in the initial offer. This is a great tactic to attract users, but just make sure that it's still relevant with the content that you're sending later on. This will help you avoid unsubscribers later on. You should also avoid describing your newsletter in overly general terms. Saying something like news and information about products might seem clear to you, but it's not very clear for the person signing up for your newsletter. Try to be as specific as possible so that they know exactly what to expect when they receive your emails. Be sure to detail the unique selling points of your newsletter as well. Outline exactly what benefits you're bringing to the user with the content that you're sending them. This will help encourage them to sign up and also build lasting engagement. Let's talk about a few best practices for your email marketing signup forms. First of all, make sure that the content you're offering in your emails is relevant, not only to your readers, but also to your business. If the content you're sending has nothing to do with your business operations or what your users are looking for, engagement will be non-existent or will not last very long. Make the benefit of your email content very clear. What value are you offering? and try to communicate in terms of the user's goals rather than what you're offering concretely. For example, saying something like, sign up to our newsletter for email marketing tips is much less impactful than sign up for our newsletter to become an email marketing expert because you're talking in terms of the goal of the user. When possible, you should use social proof. For example, if you have a lot of subscribers in your list already, you can add this number to your signup form to reassure users that you're offering something that's valuable. If you don't have that big of a list or you're just getting started, you can try to use more storytelling elements like a quote from a satisfied customer. When possible, employ FOMO or fear of missing out. This is a very powerful tactic that encourages users to sign up for fear that they might miss out on getting the value of your email content. Be sure to write from the you perspective rather than the we perspective. It puts the focus on the user and creates a more personal touch. And finally, offer gated content or lead magnet such as a downloadable checklist, white paper, ebook, or discount code. All of these are very effective at encouraging users to sign up. Let's talk quickly about CAPTCHA. What is CAPTCHA? It stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. That's a long way just to say that it's a test to distinguish the difference between people and bots. Having CAPTCHA on your email signup form helps protect you from malicious actors or spam bots who are signing up for your newsletter but have no interest in actually engaging with your email content. You can add CAPTCHA to your signup forms by clicking a checkbox in Sendinblue. And it can either be visible or invisible, but either way, it's going to help you keep your mailing list free of bots. Let's talk about a few different examples of content that you can share with users to encourage them to sign up. For a B2C company, let's take the example of a shoe company. You can send product tips and insights, like how to maintain the product for longer lasting care. You can do announcements and company news to keep people engaged with your brand quizzes and surveys to learn more about your customer and create a more personal relationship, how-tos to really provide value and go into the nitty-gritty details of your product, storytelling to connect on a human level with your users and create a more emotional bond, or holidays and events, which are some of the most engaging emails because people are always on the lookout for deals around these times of year. For B2B, it's rather similar you're still marketing to humans after all. So let's take Sendinblue as an example. You can still talk about products and tips to help people get the most value out of the product that you're offering. Company announcements and news to keep people engaged with the brand. 
quizzes and surveys to gauge customer knowledge and to get more information, how-tos, storytelling to create that emotional bond, or holidays and events, because after all, everyone's looking for a good discount. Now let's talk about the confirmation page after signup. Once a user submits your form, they'll either see a message or land on a new page that's giving them a little bit more information. Make sure that you point out that a second confirmation email or double opt-in will be arriving in their inbox shortly. You should also remind subscribers to check their spam folders if it doesn't arrive. Make sure to include a screenshot of the double opt-in email so that they know what to expect. Also, avoid distractions on this page. You shouldn't have links or CTAs to other areas of your product or website. After a user has confirmed their double opt-in, you can send them to another page. This page should serve to simply confirm their subscription. You can also welcome new subscribers and thank them for joining your newsletter list. You can even draw their eye to an additional CTA, especially if you have an initial offer with your opt-in. This can bring them back to your shop, for example, so they can make a purchase. You can also link to newsletter archives or your best content whatever you think is valuable for your user.